Well, and part of a parking lot collapsed onto a business in Harrisburg. And the business owner says basically nothing has changed in those eight days. Fox 43's Chris Hoffman live in Harrisburg this evening with what the owner is going to do. Evan and Allie was last week. I was up here and I showed you debris like this that had fallen onto Howard Henry's business. Well, it's been more than a week. All that debris is still here. He says it's tough for him to operate his business because that's his tire warehouse. And he's a tire and auto store. So right now it's tough for him to operate any sort of business. The sounds of business as usual for Howard Tire and Auto. It's a passion for owner Howard Henry. I sell used tires to people who can't afford new ones. He says he grew up in a family without money. That's why I do the used tire business, because it's a blessing to so many people. But that passion is hitting a road bump. I can't even put a pulse on how frustrated I am. It's been more than a week since all this landed on his building and not much has changed. Debris is still piled on his roof and even the car has not moved. Inside, more of the same, as rubble still sits where we saw it last week. A week and a day later, absolutely no movement, no conversations, no path forward of any kind. Henry says he has not heard back from the claimed owners of the property, the McFarland apartment building. He's been trying to figure out how this debris is going to be moved and who will pay for his damaged building. The owners of the McFarland apartment building said no comment to all our questions today. I'm not in a place where I'm trying to blame anybody for anything. I just, I just need help. With all this uncertainty surrounding the situation, Henry made one thing clear. I start it no matter what, and I'll stay no matter what. I'm not leaving. Now, Henry says before any excavation or recovery efforts for the, of the debris are done, he wants an engineer to look at this because he fears that if it's done improperly, more of the hillside could come down onto his business, causing more damage. Reporting live in Harrisburg, Chris Hoffman, Fox 43 News. Thank you, Chris. Of course, we'll continue to stay on top of that story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, so today, a lot of humidity.